y'all hey what's up welcome back to my channel it's hot mess fudges today i'm going to be doing a weekly check-in for whatever week of march we're on i already know i lose track of the week so we just gonna say this is week one it's probably gonna change every time we do a weekly check-in but whatever we do have quite a few transactions that were made this week mostly um, wedding transactions but we'll get all into that if you're new welcome here at hot mess budgets we are getting our hot mess of a budget together one paycheck at a time though if you're interested go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you like your girl hit the like and the notification button so you don't miss when i upload these hot mess videos and let's clean this mess up all right y'all so i'm gonna start writing my transactions down the first transaction that i have is from the third and that was actually my wine purchase. If you watched my cash envelope stuffing video, um, my last cash envelope stuffing, I'm doing this thing where I'm gonna try to try new bottles of wine every two weeks when I do my cash envelope stuffing, give you guys information on it, possibly where you can find it and how much it costs. Um, so I bought two bottles and that came to a total of $20. I took that out of my grocery envelope for week one. I am going to check that off. That way I know we have that. Then we have um, on the fourth, I had to get gas. That was $28. Y'all, I don't even, I really didn't even need gas at that point, but the gas was so cheap. I'm like, let me just go ahead and fill up while I'm here. Then on that same day, we went grocery shopping and um, we spent $54. So that was all of our transactions from our wallet. Um, I am going to move on to all of our wedding transactions. So mostly this stuff is for my bridal shower. Um, it's coming up soon, so I'm trying to get prepped and ready for that. Um, on the 6th, I kind of abbreviated this stuff so I would know what it is. So bridal shower, I did use Klarna, and then this was a Shein purchase. So that was, um, I actually ended up using Klarna and um, it's gonna be $24 every two weeks. The next transaction is from this shop called, y'all this is, this shop name is so funny, but it's called Show Me Your Moo Moo, M-U-M-U. -M -U. Um, they have some really cute like wet and stuff. So I bought actually two bridal shower dresses i returned one because i i like the second one better but then i found on shein i found a cute dress for cheaper and one thing about me if it's cuter and cheaper i'ma get it so i'm probably going to return this dress as well once i return it i will get the money back it should be a total it's either going to be a hundred dollars or two hundred dollars Y'all, at this point, any any way I can save some money, I'm gonna do it. So that's another reason why I am returning this dress with no problem, because this dress was $200, and for $200, I was able to get a dress, some shoes, um, some jewelry, and then some things for my bachelorette party, all for $200, I take that. The same day, I made an Amazon purchase, and that's when I bought now this Amazon purchase has three different categories in it. We're gonna just go with this one. So this one is Amazon. This one too is for my bridal shower. This transaction was $13. These are my earrings. The next transaction is from Etsy and this is actually for my bridal shower invitations. I bought a digital bridal shower invitation and then I just printed them out. That file was $7. Um, and then we'll get to the me actually printing it out, but I was able to print it out as staples for $27. And I think it's 25, I think it was like 25 um, invitations for $27, so I'll take it. Um, then the next transaction, and like I said, actually, let me erase this, cause this, I'm taking this from my reception decorations. I 
I just like to be specific when I write stuff down. That way, when I come back and question something, I know exactly what it was. Um, all right, so that same day I had to, well, that Amazon, same Amazon purchase from earlier, I had to get, I actually had to get more paper clips for my wedding invitations, which let me show y'all really quick, just to kind of give y'all a little peek of what the invitations look like. I just purchased heart paper clips to kind of hold everything together. So I needed to purchase more of these. So that came off of Amazon. Taking that from the same reception decorations. And I do plan on going super simple with our decorations. That way we're not spending tons of money on just decorations that we either gonna throw away or I don't know, throw in our basement. Next is within the same Amazon transaction, I got envelopes for my bridal shower invitations, which I gotta show you all those too. Okay, so it looks like a plain envelope, you know, nice little shimmery envelope, but look at the inside. Yeah, it's extra, it's extra, but. So that was from Amazon as well. Amazon has been my friend, and it seems like it's going to be my friend with this wedding stuff. That is coming out of reception decor as well. And that purchase was $12. They came in a pack of 20. Five, I believe. All right, the next day, um, I made an Amazon order. I purchased my shoes for my bridal shower and they're gonna be the same shoes I'm gonna wear to the wedding. So um, I am going to, now I use Klarna again for this. Um, I'm going to, the shoes were $97, but I'm only gonna put $6 towards it today. And then as I get paid and as I door dash, I'm gonna throw more money and just kind of pay myself back for this. I'm going to pull that out of my apparel envelope and $6. All right, our last transaction is the actual bridal shower envelopes. And I got that, I got them printed as staples, like I said, and it was $27 for, I believe I got 25. invitations I'm going to pull this from my ceremony decorations and it was $27 okay I'm gonna move that out the way let me do my highlighting and then we'll get our, into our binders and pull the money out Okay, so starting with our wallet, the first thing that I need to make sure is that we took $28 away from gas. So gas started with $40, it should have $12 left. So 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, and it does have $12 left. Hold on y'all, I gotta log back into work. My computer didn't log me out. Okay, so this is going back to the bank. I did use my card to get the gas, so that's why I need to put this back into the bank. All right, and we got $12 left in gas. Next is our week one groceries. So um, I got this wine. I purchased the wine with my card, so I need to take the $20 and put it back into the bank. Um, and then my groceries was 54. So 80 minus 20 minus 54. We got $6 left. All right. That's it for our wallet purchases. Now let's move on to our wedding binder okay so from bridal shower one two three I'm just gonna add that up and see how much we need to take so we got 51 plus uh oh plus 24 plus 13 so we need to take $88 from bridal shower 50 70 
Mm, I need to make change, so. So I'm just going to do that. I was looking for um, fives, but I will take whatever right now. Cause, all right, so 50, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88. All right, let's do this math and make sure that we are correct. So we had 114 in bridal shower. Um, we took 24 minus the 51. Minus the 13 so we should have $26 left in bridal shower 21 I'm 21 y'all <laughs> 20 21 2 3 4 5 6 okay we do so this stuff is going back to the bank let me move this back Whoop. This may be TMI, but do y'all feel like sometimes the time of the month be having your brain like fried? I just feel so foggy and out of it and I'd like, I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so bridal shower is done. Okay, y'all, so the next um, transactions we need to take out is from reception decor. So we've taken out seven, nine, and 12. So $28 from reception. Right now, reception has 1, 20, 40, 50, 55, 6, 7, 8, 9, 159, and we're taking 28. So 20, 5, 6, 7, 8. And let's take, so we should have 131 left. And we do in reception decorations. The next we're gonna take from is apparel. I still need to get my freaking, um, what's that thing called, veil. I'm gonna try to look at one this weekend. I'm supposed to go pick up our cake tasting box. They're giving us like a complimentary cake tasting box we can take home taste the cake and then call them back and let them know which one we like and then we can talk about you know what we want our cake to look like I know that's that's off topic but whatever place that I got my dress from is close by so I'm gonna stop by there and see if I can um look at some veils so we're gonna take six dollars away from apparel I just want to make change for five dollars which I think I'm just gonna take it from here one two three four five and let's see apparel right now has 50 60 70 75 76 7 8 9 80 and we're taking five six so we had 80 minus six there should be 74 dollars left 50 60 70 1 2 3 4 Um, last but not least is going to be for our bridal shower invitations. We're taking that from ceremony decorations. It has 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 51, 2, 3, 4 right now. And we're taking 27. So 20, 5, 6, 7. Y'all, I'm finally taking this $5 bill back. If y'all don't remember this bill. I've been trying to get rid of it. So um, we're taking $27 away from ceremony decoration. It had 54, so we should have 27 left. And we got 10, 25, 6, $7, 27. What I'm gonna do is come over here to my weekly check-in and make sure for my um, everyday expenses I didn't go over budget so for gas we started with $40 we started with $40 for gas and we got gas one time so we did have $12 left left over
for week one, groceries, we spent 20 plus 54. We spent $74 minus the 80 says we should have six dollars left over and we do um, and then of course for these I didn't make any transactions so I'm just going to zero those out All right, and just to kind of set myself up for next week, I am going to take the balance right here and um, just copy and paste it right here. The only thing that's going to be different is my groceries budget because um, I give myself $80 at the beginning of the week for groceries every week. Let's count and see how much we're taking back to the bank. We got 50, 20, 40, 60, 81, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We're taking $197 back to the bank. That's going to do it for our weekly check-in. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more wedding updates, y'all. We are 80-something days away. I think we might be 84. Make sure you guys are subscribed and that you hit that like and the notification button so you don't miss when I upload these hot mess videos. And I will see y'all next time. Bye.